Good evening, fight fans. This is Chris Guzman with your weekly Thursday night injection of boxing talk. <clears throat> Updates and all out arguments. This is your Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. Brought to you by George Rogan Insurance. It is Thursday night, March the 5th, 2009. We are live from Leg Up Production Studios, Hobart, Indiana. Just about 30 minutes outside of downtown Chicago. And we'll sort of Popinski Kegabon right here on my right. Mo, what is up with you? Not much, man. Uh, I had a good weekend. A bunch of fights this week to watch on TV. Uh, man, it was a fighter's paradise this weekend. Yeah, and one of them actually is probably uh, fight of the year so far this year. And, and, it's uh, very possible. It's going to be a candidate at the end of the year, I would think. And it makes it's going to make all these uh, promoters step up and try to put some good fights together. Yep, they're going to uh, possibly learn from the mistakes of the dreaded 2007 and, uh, and, and build upon the success stories of 2008. Although lots of undefeated fighters uh, met their demise in 08, the, uh, the fans were the ones that ultimately won, oh, yeah. and the best fights around were made in 08. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> the other thing is uh, the economy. I mean, it was, I was talking to you before the show. Uh, I heard some bad news about GM. Having tr troubles with the economy, we might have to file bankruptcy. Well, Bolo Punch is not filing bankruptcy because we have no money anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to file bankruptcy. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to file on? <laughs> Whatever's in your pocket. <laughs> We're not trying to get a government bailout. We're trying to get a government start up. I'm trying to get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the economy is actually probably helping boxing a little bit. Uh, this fight last weekend between, between Marquez and Diaz probably yeah. would have been a pay-per-view. Oh, and, yeah. And due to the economy. Uh, Interesting viewpoint. You're dead on right, though. I was thinking that. And it causes it not to be a pay-per-view, and uh, a lot of extra people get to see it. And I think it's going to help boxing. I think it's going to draw more fans, and they're going to get to see more uh, stuff. I mean, we got a heavyweight championship fight that's going to be on ESPN. Crazy. Later this month. That's going to be pretty exciting. It's been a long time. So, I mean, ESPN is about as close as you're going to get the free TV right now for boxing. Yeah, I mean, I, I joke and call HBO you know, relatively free HBO. You don't get better than just <laughs> well, having they, it on, on Friday Night Fights. Yeah, the, well, it's actually a Saturday night. I mean, it's the Friday Night Fights crew, but it's going to yeah. be on Saturday afternoon. But the only thing that you can get more free Channel is the, two. Yeah. CBS. <laughs> CBS. And after February or whatever, you, I mean, you know, you they, still they, were, had, they were supposed to take the, you know, spend the, the $400, $500. 40, yeah, it's 40 bucks, bucks, I think, is what it was for that box. But I'm not sure even if... It was more than forty because uh, they were given two hundred and fifty dollars vouchers for them I don't to, to lessen the cost. Doesn't yeah, matter. If, you, if you just get digital, it's not going to make a difference. But. Yeah, that's a the the digital is uh, it's still going to be free. You just have to get the box or have a TV that converts it. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's like anything. It's like disposable razors. <laughs> the razors are cheap. It's the it's the cartridges that are, that yeah. are eighteen bucks a piece. <laughs> Gotta get that little leather thing that sharpens them. Oh yeah, awesome. <laughs> Why does everything look so good on those infomercials? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm making I'm making like ten thousand pancakes a night. Those little <laughs> pancake balls, those are awesome. Tell me, the producer Patterson, what's going on in your neck? Oh, the woods. Uh, not a whole lot, man. Got a new phone today. Trying to figure out that freaking thing. Got a BlackBerry, so uh, that's have important, a fun, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was on Facebook this afternoon, and I saw that you installed the Facebook mobile. <laughs> you thought, ooh, wow. In case he, you he's know, he's up there. In Moving case Barack on. Obama calls you, you can't be too far away from your Facebook account. That's right. Oh, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're on board with that. How can our listeners get in touch with us tonight? Hit us up on the hotline, the nice BlackBerry hotline at two one nine seven four three nine seven. I was going to say you did not change the hotline number. <laughs> <laughs> That's been the one constant. Uh, hit us up on the Yahoo Instant Messenger keyword Bolo Punch Boxing Hour, or hit us up in the chat room via Ustream.tv. We got a a new guy there. Mm -hmm. Elmer Fudstein, Pete the Heat, and Ron Cameron, and uh, you streamer out there. Awesome. Well, Elmer Fudstein, uh, I've been uh, conversing with him for the better part of a year on uh, Yahoo Answers. Welcome. Uh, all right, tonight, let's get started. Uh, looks like Joel Julio, who's one of Amel's favorite fighters from, from years past, is uh, going to be fighting James Kirkland. Uh, 24 and 0, 21 knockouts. And Kirkland's one of my current favorite yeah. fighters. So it's 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 so cute when things just lock together like that for you. And it's another great fight. It's going to end up happening here. Uh, uh, Julio is, <clears throat> has been just on the brink of title winning a title. Been right there at greatness. And, and uh, now he's uh, now we see Kirkland trying to use him as a stepping stone. 
they're both going to be trying to use each other for various reasons. Um, <laughs> all I know is the winner again, like I said before, the winner is going to be the fans. Uh, just just being able to tune into that. And I'm sure you're going to hear a lot about Ann Wolf this weekend because he's she's in the he's yeah. in the corner she's in the corner of. Uh... She is a female. <laughs> she hits harder than most males I know, but she she's a. He's a monster. So yeah, you're going to hear about all those crazy techniques that she uses with Kirkland to train him. Hey, wh- when you hit as hard as James Kirkland does, I don't care. What, you remember the little guy? Uh, uh, John Brown was his name. Little tiny black guy. He uh, he fought uh, Shane Mosley. He fought all the all the welters as they were coming up. When they were like super lightweights, okay? He did the, these insane um, training rituals. Like, he would rappel down a mountain and then camp out for four days using, like, one match. <laughs> one match and, and no underwear. That's a, that's a survivor. You got your shows was, mixed up. It was insane, man. He had he he forced himself to build a raft out of logs that he chopped when, you know, there was probably a boat sitting there already. I mean, he did everything he could from scratch. He ate rocks. It's like, he just this is exactly gravel. survivor, man. The guy builds a boat, and there's a guy sitting on a boat right next to him videotaping him. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see it. But, uh, yeah, um, James Kirkland, uh, always, always a thrill to watch. Um, actually, it was – you you referred to the uh, – we were out playing bags in your in your front yard when it – at the time it was your new house. Now we just call it your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we were calling it the Joel Julio fight. Yeah, against Quintana. And Quintana whooped on him. That was That was yep. different. That was different. We weren't expecting. He was that. Uh, at that point because you were calling him Quintana back then. Yeah, <laughs> at that point, uh, Julio was looking for a stepping stone, and he thought Quintana was going to be it, and he made a mistake in that. Oh yeah. Well, his his management group or made the mistake. I forget, I, who, I forget who the main event was that night. Uh, that was that was an undercard. I believe it was Victor Chinian against somebody. Was that the main event? I don't know. One of the don- the Donaire, I think, the one that he broke Donito his jaw. Donaire. Yep. The other Donaire, uh, mm-hmm. his brother, that he broke his jaw. I don't his know. brother? That's his name? No, Nito Donaire's brother. I oh, can't okay. remember his name. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Um, Sauerland uh, Promotions, German-based promotions. Um, they're responsible for names like Sven Atke and Nikolai Valuev. They have um, signed on relentless Lehman Brewster, former WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Um, he's 34-4, and four, still with 30 knockouts. I mean, he's still quite a... a a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division, especially the way the division is um, is still in a lapse. Um, but you know what? That's getting to be old news. I mean, we've been saying for two years, heavyweight division is, is a little relaxed. There's not a whole lot of talent. Yeah, there's some talent coming up. When you've got David Hay moving on up. You got Pavetkin. You got. You've got. There is a, a, a good wealth of talent in the heavyweight division right now. Got, it's a matter of making fights. And now you got we, Adamek talking about coming to heavyweight. Oh, well, don't don't you jump in front of my docket here. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, he, he Adamek called out Galata a couple of months ago. We, yeah, we but now he's a, he's even talking about bigger names than Galata now that he's. Well, now he flat out wants to do it. It's one thing a year ago for him to say, "I want to fight Galata," and it's like, "Oh, cool." Okay, a cruiser against a really big heavyweight. Yeah. They're both Polish. Make sure they fight in Chicago. It would be awesome. Yeah. And now it's like, whoa. Well, obviously, they could probably... fight in New York as well because all the Polish fans that were there uh, in, was it two weeks ago. They're going to go wherever Adamek goes is what it is. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess we could, we could just go straight to that because uh, Jonathan Banks, who I absolutely picked, hands down to beat Adamek um, just on size and, uh, and, and punching power and, and boxing ability. Um Boxed the first two, three rounds really well. And was well. winning, doing pretty well. Really well against Adamek. I thought for a second I was going to see it happen, and uh, it just didn't turn out. I did, yeah, I thought Adamek was quicker hands was going to take this fight, and that's ended up what happened. Uh, I was rooting for Jonathan Banks. Yeah. but Well, you were the man. Uh, you were the man this weekend. Um, we, we need to go ahead and take a break, and we'll be right back with all the, the fights that got us through the week and all the fights that are going to be getting us through the following week. Right here on Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. <laughs> 